Tim Pool, I don't, I don't know. I always was of the mind that, you know, uh, that, you know, one day, like when you've given so many like bad sort of uh, analysis of, of politics and whether you've proven wrong time and time again, that you'll stop. Mm -hmm. You'll just, you'll be too embarrassed. He stopped predicting civil war. Because he did that dozens of times. Oh, no, he has not no, stopped that. Times? He, he, no, it's been like a week, I think, since his last uh, prediction yeah, no. of civil war. Ah. But now he says it's a communist revolution, so it's, it's moved so on. So it's evolved. Graduated, yeah. Um, but once you've run out of that, what do you do? Well, maybe you get into some men's rights and pickup artist uh, stuff. You bring back some of the, uh, some of the greatest hits. Here he is uh, with his theory about how we should be shaming women that he doesn't like. I guess. And we need ah. leaders to do it. Oh, do we know who's on here? It's, yeah. um, it's, um, Fresh and Fit and Jason Howerton, who are apparently <laughs> YouTubers Fresh and Fit and Jason Howerton. Okay, cool. All different levels on our podcast. And what I've come to realize is the abundance of options that modern day women have is absolutely influenced how they view the opposite gender. Most women, unfortunately, do not respect most men. Most women think most men are below them. They would not date most men. They think most men are invisible. And they think most men are inferior to them when it comes to, I want a top tier guy. Because when I ask girls, what do you want in a man? And we actually ask them, they always describe a guy in the top two to three percent. I would say that's, uh, maybe it's too bold to say statistically proven. But I would say we have seen tons of data showing exactly what you said is most likely to be the case. I think uh, it was Tinder or OkCupid's data showing that yeah. the average man has a natural bell curve for female attraction and, and value. And the average female has a super warped curve. <laughs> yes. That they Pause only it for one second. In. All right. Let's just, I mean, there's a couple of things here. <laughs> um, a lot of people are on Tinder. But this 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 only gives you the average user of Tinder. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like it, this is so dumb. I just want people to understand, like every single assumption that they are making and taking as the grounding. Even if he says it may be too strong a word to say that we, you know, this is a uh, uh, data. No, it's worse than that. Everything you think of like data, he, like yeah. like a Tinder. Here's like, some more data. Tinder is 75% male. So uh, maybe a supply and demand reason for why the women are a little bit more selective on a dating app where they have that much more choice. <laughs> it's it's just like it's the, the, it's the level of like so desperate to get to where they want to go. They're just not even going to do even the slightest bit of assessment of what their, their priors are. But go ahead. At, yeah. The average man has a natural bell curve for female attraction and, and value. And the average female has a super warped curve <laughs> yes. that they only look at men they would rate eight. Men that are on average rated eight to 10 are deemed average. And and for, for men, the bell curve is normal. Like the average woman is average. Can I, yeah. can I the, ask about the methodology behind this rating system? Is this about just attractiveness? This is some this survey also about, they did on Tinder. It's also about jobs. Is it about earnings? Is it about height? Is it about race? Look like these what are, are we talking about? Yeah, exactly. Like that. This is just like a, uh, um, a male, female and like appearance thing. Like, I mean, there are elements of social uh, net or dating that I think probably aren't very helpful. Um, I don't think that it is exclusively disadvantageous to men <laughs> um uh so i think that's where i uh like dis depart from tim here bingo dango says the okay cupid statistic stuff has been debunked for years at this point well of course it is a self-selecting group of people yeah. that want to be on a dating app and assess who they're going to go out on a date with based upon pictures of people yes. and like other sort of signifiers i mean it's yeah. you know it's interesting if you're doing a dating app show yeah or if you're trying to compete with but, Tinder but, and come but, up with but, your own but options. But wait to yeah. where this goes. Yes. Right, this yeah. is the point. Yes. Yeah, is right. that all of this talk would be absolutely, you know, aside from the fact that I'm staring at like the the, the, the sword, <laughs> the pistol. Mm -hmm. uh, Why are women digging this? Why are we, like, what? I got a guitar. My jazz master. I got the cool guitar <laughs> here and my two weapons. Yeah. I'm a grown man. Um, but uh, continue. Would rate eight. Men that are on average rated eight to ten are deemed average, and and for for men the bell curve is normal. Like the average woman is average. Yeah. The ugly woman is ugly. The beautiful woman is beautiful. For women, almost all guys, eighty percent of men they they deem unworthy or unattractive. So, yeah. so but I don't I don't know if the solution to this then is to say engage in it 
perhaps the solution is pause it. So in other words, I think what he's saying with those statistics, he was just sort of like talking about them, is that women reject more men on these apps than men reject women. Because there's more men on the apps. That could be part of it. It could also be that like women are bitches w- it, that can be fit. Feminism but it can also be yeah. just like you know uh w- you know the um it may be a little bit scarier for women to sort Locked of just him. look at a picture of a dude and go like yeah i'm gonna go meet that guy mm-hmm. in the city yeah yeah i'm gonna go meet that guy at a you know it's uh, somewhere down the road i'm like, gonna give that guy my phone number it could be like i need like you know and what i will say with my experience on these dating apps uh there were a lot of times where i would say maybe a man like appears to be attractive but would send me a message that was disgusting uh, i would not have rated oh, him just them in the not, eight to ten range just, and maybe it would have gone lower because of the context just he's not in your bell curve of a Oh, oh no, and, and that's my favorite part too. Is the, the the I know like the men are the rational ones. They fall along a natural bell curve <laughs> pattern. I mean, the bell curve is natural in all instances. Let's be real, right? That's what Tim Pool uh, they kind of uh, have that association. So um, the women are completely unnatural and honestly hysterical. The men follow along the natural pattern of att- attractiveness along a s- strict grading scale, and the woman that just shoots up at the end. I mean, how? Honestly, how emotional do you have to be to go through that process? And again, this stuff would be like, it wouldn't be worth our time if we didn't get to this part. This then is to say, engage in it. Perhaps the solution is get away from these you know, areas full of debauchery, <laughs> go out to smaller areas and find something more wholesome. Oh. If, there, if, if cities have embraced this culture to this degree, then perhaps the solution is to recognize that and get away from it. You can, but that does not necessarily save you because that woman is still going to be open to the globalized sexual marketplace. She still might go to college in an area where she might still go to university where being promiscuous and everything is encouraged. At University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, someone sent me a picture of this. They're literally giving girls honey packs and condoms. Yeah. Y'all, y'all are... What? Y'all are just t- Sorry. What? Doesn't this help their chances? If it- women are promiscuous? I mean... Am I crazy? Well, the, they're taking there's, advantage of there's, men. There's a two part problem. Whoa. Women are being pers- promiscuous, but not with them. Mm. <laughs> that's the that's, that's the that's, that's the problem. You're right. That's the problem. But like, you understand? Like, like the they'll talk all this data and about how there's some societal problem. But the bottom line is, what we're hearing is a a, a, a group of guys who this, want women <laughs> to behave. In a way that is in uh, is consistent with the way that they should behave, and like they've already started off this conversation with like women are becoming more uh, successful and independent, and therefore it is a problem for men. Well, maybe <laughs> maybe the problem has been that men have been acculturated to treat women in a certain way that was a uh, that was reliant on the um essentially the oppression of women yes. who could not have whose options were limited by society to the benefit of men who would you want a credit card well you're gonna have to marry me before yeah. you get your credit card yep do you want uh you want to you want to you want to eat you also, know you want to pursue your not, dreams actually just kidding you can't do that either because the, then you just need to serve me well, forget right? the distribution though like for every time one of these you know um sluts is going and having sex with somebody who isn't these guys there's also a guy doing it so why are we enforcing this we know this about uh jordan peterson his whole problem with uh that you had the top tier remember he said this to joe rogan right. you have the top tier um men but aren't those, having sex with all the women, but aren't those therefore really there's the incels. Yeah, and but they're chads. Those guys must be super frisk, because why are we... Well, they, it, it doesn't, they're allowed to be. The women aren't. And that's that what that Logan the, said, like, uh, aren't you saying basically that we need to yeah. provide equality? Because if this is the case, and these guests are who they say they are, they're the ones sleeping with all the women, which well, I don't think is what's happening. They don't, and, and I also just want to say, too, notice how Tim work back, works backwards from him, like, moving to West Virginia in the compound. Right, it's like, exactly. in, in cities, it's so disgusting and, and depraved. Come to my compound, and then you'll have sushi, and then maybe we can I just want to say, I time. was being ironic um, and verbalizing them when I said the word sluts. Okay. Just so in case yes, I think it, we got it. <laughs> 
are literally giving girls honey packs and condoms. Yeah. Y'all, y'all are y- y'all are just thinking too too short term, too short term, and too too self focused in my opinion. Like so, right on, bro. I'm thinking in generations, right? Like, how long did it take us? to get to this point as a society, all the things you're, which a lot of it's true, and you cannot argue with a lot of the points you just made, 100%. Centuries. It's a big, no, I wouldn't say centuries, I would say, well, maybe overall, but you look at the past, you know, Historic. 50 years or so, yeah. and you can see the writing on the wall of what has happened to the nuclear family, what's happened to society, Absolutely. And the way women are viewed, and the, the whole deal. And so, Pause, the solution to me, I mean, it really, we could probably bring this all the way back to when they got the vote and then the whole thing where yeah. you know 50 slow. years uh it's true uh like 55 years ago uh my mom could not get a credit card in her name uh you could not vote in the city of worcester under your maiden name uh well into like the 70s mm. uh I, I imagine maybe it doesn't happen in other places but i imagine that was the case um you i mean the uh, we could go on and on about uh oh you could not uh, it wasn't it, there was no legal concept of rape in the context of a marriage a, a wife did not have the legal right to say no to sex these are the things that they're bemoaning also some uh, um, progress in terms of like equal pay and educational and occupational uh, opportunities birth but, control yeah and birth control of course yeah. the way women are viewed uh, the, the whole deal and so the solution to me is a generational one and and what it is is that when the high value men demand something different and are open to something different and saying you know what this instagram like f- let me fly you out to Pause bali quick are the high value men in the room right now go ahead brother <laughs> and saying you know what this instagram like f- let me fly you out to bali <laughs> on my private jet deal <laughs> is no longer um, attractive to them because they have a higher standard that they're setting for themselves. Hopefully my sons who will be, you know, the, w- the women are not attracted to that anymore is what no, you're saying? No, I'm or? saying the men are saying, we want something different. We don't want the Instagram hoe that I can fly in overnight <laughs> just to have a quick, you know. That is biology. That's never happening. That's biology. Okay. Like, 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 hold, like, hold, hold, with all due like, respect, that's never yeah. No, 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 See, no, hold on, hold yeah. on, like, go ahead. I, 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 I agree a lot with what he's saying. Imagine if women are only looking at the top eight, nine, ten. Uh, of men yeah if these guys if guys like you just started shaming women uh, do, do they you know you know who's paying for only fans right it's low quality it's lower quality guys yeah 100%. so if yeah. high quality dudes who got really nice watches and pull up in a bugatti and this woman's like yeah i want to come hang with you and he goes, yeah what's your body count and he goes how dare you ask me that i don't want no hole in my car and he takes off yeah now she's embarrassed she got shut down and more women are going to say <laughs> If I want a high value man, because only the guys are going to come after me, are going to be high value. So maybe, maybe let's, flip let's the, be real here. Maybe okay, we're going to tra- t- turn this into the Dreamcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> this is the Dreamcast. Now okay, let's all yo, but, but let's you're, be real here. Yeah. As men, we got to be honest here, bro. <laughs> we smashing whatever's possible. And if they're bad, speak you know what I'm Yes, speak right, for let's, yourself, bro. Let's, let's pause it for but, a second. Um, so the plan is to save uh, um, high value men like you guys high value men like you guys <laughs> not like Tim tough guys what you gotta do is you've got to shame um, these women that you connect with mm-hmm. after you ask them how many people they've slept with yeah you know what happens when you start asking women questions like that is they no longer look at you like you are a high value man. They yeah. start to look at you like you're some kind of wreck. Dude, <laughs> he's got a Bugatti. Uh, that's he's got thing. a Bugatti. See, <laughs> see, these manosphere guys have no idea what women I want. Love that and shit. that's what's amazing. Like, oh, a Bugatti, a trip to Bali so you can bang. Uh, who do I know that does this? Do, does anybody own, know that? Nobody high, lives in high this quality world. Men. High quality men. You know what? I'm Actually, I would find that to be incredibly showboaty. This is probably why Tim didn't get anywhere with me. Um, sorry, I shouldn't say that. Uh, <laughs> I, I do. I actually find that behavior to be a little bit reprehensible. Uh, it shows. It shows a general kind of commitment to capitalism, to uh, to uh, superficiality that would not designate me to. An uh, or, or cause me to designate them as a high quality Sounds man. like somebody's got a high body count. D- That's D- what it sounds yeah. like. <laughs> I need like, more shame. The idea, <laughs> the idea that a grown man would say the high quality man comes out, he's got the Rolex, he's got the Bugatti, yeah. 
This is honestly like the talk of a ten year old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is I this is believe. like this is like what my like this is Saul and I walking down the street and seeing like a Ferrari, a Ferrari. Yeah. yeah. Oh God. Oh God. Oh yeah. So cool. So cool. Like the the arrested like the- development that is associated with this, which incidentally they believe is completely separate from why the women uh, uh don't want them yeah, yeah it's their per- it's your personality guys it's your personality that's why the women are not interested yeah it's because and- they fixate on things like body count but yeah but again the mentality that we need to humiliate and shame women to make them conform to the way that we want them to be and then they dress it up with all this data they have from tinder <laughs> and it's just slut shaming it's yeah. it it's is, just slut shaming and guys will do whatever but women we got to get on them and talk about what's your body count and then if they say like something above 10 we have to peel out in our bugatti right in front of their face <laughs> <laughs> what you're not you don't like this yeah well you're not getting into the lambo if <laughs> yeah doors are locked the guy the, the guys who, doors are locked i'm out to go sleep with a virgin like, yeah. i love i love the high high quality guys who uh, essentially assess themselves based on their bugatti and their rolex they don't they don't want some instagram ho as i mean it's just i mean how pathetic is it as tim though to one i appreciate that he under, understands that he's not one of these guys yes you know that's actually like a, a a sign of you know healthy uh, self-awareness but to like sort of ask them can you guys start shaming the women so they stop sleeping with all you guys and let it trickle down a little bit is d- delicious it's yeah so yeah insane. why don't you guys respect the free marketplace <laughs> and and just to, just to give you guys an idea of like what fresh and fit show is like they just like invite four women on to like stage at an event and just literally like say to them you're inferior to us like defend defend that position like defend that defend that why are why which are one of not? those guys are they uh who who's who here so i think i'm pretty sure this is fresh and the other ones fit um, oh fresh and fit had yeah. uh they had new Fuentes on it in, uh, yeah they're kind of like really yeah. really right wing coded as well um oh, yeah. but then jason harrison funnily enough he's an entrepreneur who was very, um, one of the chief architects behind the astroturfing effort of richmond north of richmond by oliver anthony Oh, I mean, and, and just the their even their conception of like what they think women on is inherent and want is inherently misogynistic. Like you have to be able to be tricked into having sex with me. Like with, you can't know me as a we can't have a relationship of equals, which might be more attractive. Look at where, this fancy stuff. I got. Yeah. Look at all the like this. Yeah, this car. And I, I'm tricking you. Can you imagine what kind of apartment I have if I have a car like this. I'm tricking look you with my, my with my money. Right. And like that's the only thing they think women want, because that's an inherently misogynistic view of who women are. They're not multidimensional people who have dreams who have like laughter who have goals who have weaknesses they're just there to like be a money sponge for the high value men and and that's what's so pathetic about all of it can you uh put a bugatti up on the uh, screen please <laughs> would, just so i can oh yeah, you if i saw that. a man this would like if a, a guy posed with this on the dating app I would swipe what's the other one left, left is the yeah. bad one i would swipe left because i would never want someone like and I think there are a lot of girls like this because this is a hallmark of the exact di- a dynamic that they're sh- yeah give me a break that, first first of all oh, cars come on, are bad oh, come investments on. oh come on yeah that one yeah it would, be, wouldn't do it for be, me be on the, you're not gonna lie no no get company. back to the one with the uh, T roof yeah. the damn uh, if I saw a guy driving like this I'm like I'm 90 percent sure you watch Andrew Tate so I'm swiping left what about the beige one. The beige one's ugly as hell. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Two tone. I, I gotta say, I like the one with the uh, with the the no top. What is the convertible? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You gotta get we'll one of those see. and pose it's on the right stuff with it's like, it. It's not even like a high volume. It's not even woman. some affordable like by some kind of like. How much is a car like that? Six hundred thousand dollars, probably, maybe three hundred, but I I think it's over half a million. Yeah. I mean, they, for it, has, it was at one point. I don't know if it still is the fastest production car on earth. <laughs> yeah, but <I'm... laughs> which is why they named it. Like honestly, g- guys being into cars, most women don't like that at all. It's yeah, like it, it's kind of like that, that's like that's a very like you've you failed if you've had to spend like sixty thousand dollars on like an M three in order to get any kind of woman to look so yes. to you like that, and the, then the I, nature of that relationship, I don't think it's going to be very very uh, yeah, happy. I will concede that I recently found myself saying that 
I probably am going to go for a sunroof on the next Subaru I get. Whoa. Damn. Look out, ladies. Now, that may be a couple of years off. Try to falsify your uh, body count cards. That, <laughs> exactly. That Trump exactly. Is gonna be forcing better, drop, better drop the body count. <laughs> going to be riding underneath the uh, sunroof. Looking for maidens, unspoilt by the world. Check, oh. check this out. Oh. Check this out. <laughs> check, oh. check this out. Even as a joke. There you go. You press the button and it went back? Yeah. It went... Wow. High value women, oh, line up. Club. Hello, miss. What's your body count? <laughs> Guess who just became an eight? Yeah. Does any woman here not know uh, how to use a condom? <laughs> because uh, get in if you. <laughs> I want you as inexperienced and as impressionable as possible. I mean, then... A very fumbling experience. Why aren't other women interested? Oh, my God. <sighs> Guys like right. you need to <laughs> Let's, uh... shame the women for us. <gasps> oh, my God. They should keep... If they she keep was therapy. offered a tour, sushi, and poker with the boys. <laughs> okay. And that didn't work. And she went after some chat on Tinder instead. <laughs> I said the subtext as text, unfortunately. Unbelievable. Um, folks, we have gone uh, way too far. Okay. Um, In many ways. <clears throat> geez. Uh, Dave from Ireland says, where's Matt getting a Bugatti for 600K? A new Chiron starts in at uh, 3.3 million. Oh, oh, wow. Inflation is out of control. <laughs> I, uh, oh, yeah, they might have been over a million in originally. I don't really think anyone here. I, I just don't cares. understand. <laughs> even if you have that much money. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how do you justify dropping that kind of money on a car? That's a thing. Yeah. It's and, not and, even a good. Like, it depreciates in value, isn't it? No, well, but you don't care. Car. I mean, if you have a billion dollars, I guess you're not you're not buying anything for an investment per se. But how many guys on Tinder have a billion dollars? <laughs> well, also, yeah, exactly. You gotta. That's like, you got you you be that would be Tinder premium. Yeah. No. What you do is you rent one of these things and then take your Tinder pics for it. Um, yeah. It's like that that company that allows you to sit in a private, private jet, jet for an hour so and take yeah. photos and then put it on your Instagram. That's literally what those guys think like women want. Yeah. They, they, have you heard of that, Sam? They have like it looks like a, you're inside a private jet, but it's just on a soundstage. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> you rent it out and you take photos and be like, out travel, not get on my level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have to say that like it, 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 the a picture there. There were three things that I would automatically swipe uh, against. Left. Left. Mm -hmm. um, somebody who is pictured with a car. Mm -hmm. Some women do that. Someone who is sitting in a private jet. Yep. Because I'm yeah. like, same. I'm not going to be there for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> not my lifestyle. You're, you're, gonna you're gonna, like a day one is going to be. Uh, you're not going to be. You're going to be unhappy. Yeah. And, yeah. The, and the third is a uh, partner in crime. Mm. Oof. If you say I'm looking for a partner in crime. Oh, okay. I mean, I would be a little bit more flexible on that one. I am not a criminal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you don't want to be called. You don't want to be smirched. I understand no, that. I don't you want. Know, and when I say that, also, like, am I going to trust somebody who's going to like? Yeah. You know, like that. They're they're just using me. Is probably an accomplice. Like, yeah, like oh, you be the lookout, and then I am the one who gets arrested. And I'll say, yeah, car, the fancy cars or private jets, like like I just feel like I don't know. You're you're like you don't share my values, and you're also probably going to cheat. That's what I, <laughs> that's what I think. Yeah, I mean, I remember like I seen like if you have like four out of five of your pictures is like at a club in a club dress. I'm just like, I don't think we have the same lifestyle. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, right. Like, attractive right. or whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs>